Hey everybody, Kevin here with Your Best Groove and Groove Tutorials, and I'm going to show you today how we can use the brand new global blocks in Groove Pages 2.0. This is a very, very quick overview, but it's going to help you see how they work, how you access them, how you add them to your page. So uh, before we get there, make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the updates coming, especially with this brand new update we have to Groove Pages 2.0. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so you know how we have these regular footers? We now have global blocks. And I want to show you how to use them up here on the left. You have this little global box area. And you can click the plus button. Click the plus button. And what we're going to do is have the standard blocks we can choose from. I'm going to choose a just a regular footer block to show how this works. So I'm going to grab this and put it into my global block. So now you can see the footer is there. I'm going to make it mine by adding a bunch of my details and making it connected to my pages. And you can see that it's set up now just like a standard footer. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Exit. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom of this page and I'm going to replace or I'm going to add this block. You can see it right here. I'm going to go ahead and rename it before I do that. So I'm going to just call it uh, standard footer something like that and check mark to update it now I'm going to add it to the page by clicking on the block and then the plus sign and now when I click on global blocks my new one that I just added shows up so I click on it it adds it to the page and now I have my global footer now this is really important um, make sure that you republish the pages or even publish them when you create a new block, a new global block. So I did that, I come back in, and now when I come in, you can see at the bottom of the page, I have that global block showing up here. I wanna add it to another page. So I'm gonna to go to page number two in my build, go to the bottom, click on the block, click plus, go to global blocks, click on the block I wanna add, and it shows up at the bottom of the page. I'm going to delete the old one here. And then I can go into the block itself and make some changes. So I'm going back to the global block now and making some changes. So I'm just going to highlight and underline these headers here just so you can see how the changes get made everywhere once you make the changes. So let's go ahead and underline these. And once we have them underlined, we're going to click Save and Exit. And once we've done that, we're going to be able to go back into the pages. So here's page one. We added the global block. And you can see the bold and underline is there. Let's go to page two. Go down to the bottom. Bold and underline is there. And page three and so forth. And that is how global blocks works. Hey, I hope that was helpful. And just so you know, over the next week, over the next two weeks, I'm going to be coming out with tons and tons of videos on how to use GroovePages 2.0. Also, don't miss the free workshop, third Thursdays at 10 a.m. Eastern, where we just do a live workshop on how to use GroovePages, how to build a page, how to collect emails, and how to sell something with GroovePages and GrooveSell. So, don't miss the workshop. The next one is coming up in just a few days. Would love to see you there.